Israeli soldiers uh, have shot and killed five Palestinian protesters during weekly anti-occupation protest rallies in the Gaza Strip. Nearly 100 people have also sustained injuries during this week's violent crackdown by Israeli forces. The protest is the from the Great March of Return weekly rallies. Now, the rallies call for lifting of the blockade in Gaza. Over 200 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli forces since the protests began on March 30th. Israel has been criticized by rights groups over its brutal crackdown on the peaceful protesters, but the regime continues to enjoy immunity for its crimes amid international silence. Now from Nuuk, I'll be joined by uh, Rabbi David Feldman, who's a spokesman for Neturai Karta International. Uh, good to see you, sir. Um, another uh, rally uh, within the context of the Great March of Return, and again, unfortunately, we have had some uh, loss of life on the side of the Palestinian protesters. This time, five of them got killed by Israeli soldiers. And this has been going on. And like I said, the Israeli regime is still enjoying this immunity. And the international community is keeping silent. Well, all, all, all we can say is we can, we can only condemn all what is taking place now in Gaza and what is taking place in Palestine for so long. All of the, the, this occupation from the very beginning is totally wrong. And unfortunately, these killings and this escalation and this continuation of all these atrocities now in Gaza is to be condemned by the world community, especially when we're dealing with peaceful protesters, uh, demonstrations taking place to condemn and to, uh, to condemn the atrocities and to demand justice. This should be uh, uh, condemned by the entire uh, world community. Us as Jewish people, we condemn this because we are Jews, because we follow our religion, because we find that all that Israel stands for and all that Israel uh, commits to the Palestinian people is criminal, not only in international law, but this is truly criminal in Jewish religious law. And I can tell you, as a Jewish person, I was part of a delegation visiting Gaza a couple of years ago. What we saw at the time was terrible, was painful, was disastrous. And unfortunately, we are already uh, almost a decade past that, and we don't see any, uh, any uh, future, any better situation. No building material is allowed in. As recently was reported, no medical assistance is allowed in. All of this is ridiculous. And we as Jewish people, we know what suffering is. We uh, had suffering in our past history for 2,000 years. Uh, recently in the Holocaust, uh, over 70 years ago, we know exactly what suffering is. And we don't want to see this happen to other people. We don't want to have this happen to other people done, committed by anyone. But especially when this is being done supposedly by Jewish people, supposedly in our name. We stand up and we say no, we condemn everything that is being done to the Palestinian people by the state of Israel. And we have to remember that Jewish people lived in peace in Palestine. It's not because of the difference of our religion. It, it, that's not the reason for the conflict we are experiencing today for decades. We lived in peace, we can live in peace. And the reason why we lived in peace is because the Jewish people were peaceful people our peaceful people are supposed to be peaceful people. And all what our people, all what the Jewish people wanted in the Holy Land was only to serve Almighty God. No conflict, no nationalism, no politics, simply expressing, exercising our religion. This is all what makes us Jewish. This is all what our religion stands for. That's right. This all conflict that we experience today was started by the Zionist people by the invention of Zionism and later by the creation of the state of Israel. We blame the Zionist movement for the conflict we are experiencing already for decades and the okay. blood shed on all, on all sides of the conflict. We mm -hmm. condemn all what Israel is committing and we urge mm -hmm. the world to stand up and to say no to the atrocities and to remember that this is not the mm -hmm. voice of the Jewish people. Okay. These atrocities do not represent the Jewish people, mm. neither the Jewish religion. All right, great. I appreciate your comments. Uh, that was Rabbi David Feldman, the spokesman for the Neturei Carta International, joining us from New York.